Hello, and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K live uh, on Facebook. I am just out here double checking that everything is good to go before I start uh, diving in and that I'm live in the right place. But I'm here just uh, to show you some new uh, catalog goodies. So our pre-order started uh, on Friday and um, before you ask and get mad that your stuff is still picking, I did pay the expedited shipping fee, which is not inexpensive. <laughs> so I did pay the expedited shipping fee to get my goodies here a little extra early. Um, so yay, I have lots of fun things to show you, lots of pretty new things to show you. Um, I've got the new in colors, a bunch of bundles, uh, some papers, uh, just all kinds of good stuff. So hey, at least thanks for hopping on and Amy's here and Vicki and Trudy. And I will try to keep an eye on the comments as best I can. So if you have questions about things, just let me know. Um, you got your new stuff today too, Brie. You must have also accidentally hit that overnight button. It happens sometimes, you know, just, I don't know how, but it just, I don't know. I think it's a sticky key on my computer. <laughs> so, hey, Connie, thanks for hopping in. So this is the new annual catalog cover. I will be, I've ordered them for my customers. They are still picking at the um, Stampin' Up! office. So as soon as they get them out to me, I will be repacking them and sending them out to my customers. So if you have ordered from me uh, within the last year, you'll be getting your catalog um, just as soon as I get them and can get them stuffed into mailers and sent back out to you. So they should be on the way. I'm hoping, I have my fingers crossed, they're going to ship out today so that hopefully I'll have them uh, late this week and can get them in the mail and you'll have them sometime next week. All right, so that's that's the new catalog. So it is a good one, Karen. You're going to love it. <laughs> Lots of good things. So let's start with the new ink colors. So I have got the ink pads first, and I'll tell you the names of them. Um, and I'm, it's going to take me a minute to remember them all. And I've got uh, cardstock here as well. So we have Orchid Oasis, which is a really pretty kind of purpley blue color almost. Then we have Tahitian Tide, which is a beautiful, kind of a deeper turquoise color. And then, hey, Cynthia, thanks for hopping on. And uh, then we have Starry Sky, which is a, um, a purpley blue, a dark purpley blue. I've often heard it referred to in other industries as blurple. I don't know if that's a for real thing or a term. Maybe it's only uh, clothing industries that use it, but <laughs> I've heard that term before. And then we have Parakeet Party, which is a really fun bright green, I don't know, kind of, um, is it Lucky Limeade that we had that was a similar green, but it's a real bright, pretty green. And then we have Sweet Sorbet, um, which is a, a pretty uh, kind of, a I don't know, a, a red, true red. I don't know what else to call it. So so those are the ink pads. Let me get those out of the way. And I probably should set them over here because I forget the names um, as often, you know, more than I remember things anymore. So I've got the cardstock here. And I will, again, I know that colors are a little weird on your screen, my screen, computers, whatever. So it depends on how the camera picks it up. Hey, Pam, thanks for hopping in. And Christy and Jan. And again, if you post a comment and I miss it, or a question and I miss it, just holler and I will um, try to uh, try my best to keep up with the comments and all that sort of thing. All right, so this is Starry Sky. This is the um, designer, or not designer, this is the cardstock, Starry Sky. And then we have Orchid Oasis, which this is the next one. Again, you can see they're, um, they're both kind of shades of purpley blues, but definitely way different shades. And then we've got our Sweet Sorbet, which again, that's the red color. And next up, we have Tahitian Tide, which that is the real pretty um, turquoise color. Again, it's a real bright, um, definitely kind of, I don't know, a darker bright, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, um, uh, so there we go. So we've got Tahitian Tide. And then the fun Parakeet Party. So that is the bright green. Um, so again, these are, I don't know, very tropical looking to me. I love them together. I love them separately. Um, I can't say that there's a single color in here that I don't like. So you're probably going to be seeing a lot of the new in colors for me uh, very soon <laughs> because I now have them all. So those are the, the new in colors, and these are going to be around from 2022 through 2024. Um, so that's going to, you know, lots of pretty. Love the colors. All right. So let me slide that out of the way. Um, there is a new pack of six by six designer series paper for the new in colors. And um, again, here we go. So we've got, uh, this is a plaid print obviously, and this is kind of a striped print. 
The back side has got flowers and polka dots. So some really good for backgroundy kind of cards. Love the, love the designs in these packs. There are new packs coming out in all the color families as well. So you're gonna see these same prints in the catalog in um, the regular color families. So again, Tahitian Tide we've got here, same thing. And then we've got our Orchid Oasis. And then back side of that. And then our Parakeet Party. Again, backside in the six by six designer series paper, just like the current family packs that we have, color family packs. And then Starry Sky is the last one. Um, so lots of pretty papers. And again, I love these, uh, the backgrounds. I agree, Pam, I like these way better. <laughs> so I love them, yes. I love the, the, I love the color family packs in general, but these are really good prints in this one. So the Stampin' Up! also gave us some 2022 to 2024 in-color 6x6 glimmer paper. So this is, it's not your screen. It is, in fact, sort of that kind of ombre look to it. Um, and it it's doesn't flake off, so it's the really good glittery paper, real sparkly, um, but doesn't flake off, which I love. And it, again, it's kind of gradients, lighter to darker. Um, so we've got our um, the Orchid uh, Oasis, and then we've got Starry Sky. Uh, Tahitian Tide, and Parakeet Party, and then Sweet Sorbet. So again, these are that kind of sparkly, glittery, glimmer paper. So hopefully you can see that well on the screen. Um, I didn't pull these out of the packs, but ugh, things everywhere. There are new blends in all of the new in colors, which is a huge yay. I love that. And, and then of course there, again, I didn't pull these out of the pack either because it's just your standard issue stamp and write markers that also come in all of these pretty new ink colors. And then I did open these up so that you could hopefully get a better look at them. We have ribbon in all of the new ink colors and it is the metallic woven ribbon and it's an eighth of an inch thick. So I'll hold it up for a second here in front of the screen. This one in particular is the Orchid Oasis. And so it's a real pretty kind of shimmery ribbon and real narrow, so it should work well for cards. And um, so, so pretty. And again, it's in all of the in colors, all the new in colors. So it's beautiful ribbon. And again, I'll just kind of hold it up and you can take a peek at it. And then we'll move on. All right, so that is all the new in color stuff that I have. Well, I mean, there are some things that are in the suites that are new in colors, but um, that is all the kind of Oh, your MasterCard, it is, yeah. My, my uh, visa is still sitting in the corner crying just a little bit. <laughs> so it was an expensive day on Friday, but all good. So lots of new things. All right, so we have a new uh, masculine suite, which is awesome. So it's called He's, or the stamp set is called He's All That. And I'll kind of leave that laying here for a second and you can hopefully take a look at it and see the sentiments and things on it. So a good masculine set. And um, hey, Carol, thanks for hopping in. And then it has coordinating dies called the All That Dies. And the there are lots of good ones to cut out all of the, the circular images. And then we've got some that will go around the sentiments, um, around that image, uh, Some just some accessory dies. We've got a little one here that will cut out this one, a little banner die. So again, just a good good set of dies, good, set of, um, good stamp set. So again, nice to have a uh, masculine one. So hey, sneaking in from work, that is just fine, Karen. <laughs> and hey, Joy, glad that you're here. So this is the stamp set bundle. Again, it's called He's All That. And then there are some rustic metallic adhesive back dots. And I do love the metallic adhesive back dots. These are um, sort of a, I don't even know what color, brass maybe would be the color I would call them. Um, but they're smaller, which I absolutely love. And they're adhesive, which I really, really love. Anything, I don't have to get glue all over my fingers. Um, and so these are perfect. So again, be great for all sorts of cards, but definitely good ones for masculine cards. And then there is a pack of designer series paper. This is a specialty pack of paper. And what makes it specialty is this top sheet that I have here. So this is the He's the Man 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper. The colors are basic black, Cajun craze, crushed curry, early espresso, Sahara sand, and soft succulent. So the top sheet on here, you may not be able to see, and I don't want to punch all these little things out. These are all like little die cut pieces that you can add to your projects, cards, um, scrapbook pages, whatever you want to do. So they're all die cut, little die cut pieces that you can just pop out of this and you get two of these. Hey, Bonnie, no worries. I just hopped on kind of last minute. So 
Um, so you get two of these in the pack of specialty designer series paper. So definitely some kind of cool ones and um, good things for all things masculine. So, all right. Then this is the, there are five sheets um, that are, we have two of each of these. So five sheets of kind of regular designer series paper in the, with the pack as well. So uh, I'm sorry if I'm missing comments. So things are kind of flying by. So hopefully if I, if you have any questions, holler and uh, you the same again if I miss them and I, and I don't. Uh, yep, the laser cut ones are really cool. So, all right, so we've got, uh, again, the regular designer space paper. So soft succulent and early espresso in this one, which has got some cute little uh, campers and things on it. The backside is plaid, and I know it kind of gets the shine on it. It's definitely early espresso when you look at it. <laughs> um, it's got, it's, I don't know, it, the lighting, it's hard. So anyhow, um, this is another good masculine print. Again, early espresso. And again, it's just regular designer series paper. I know it looks a little shiny in the light, but it is not. <laughs> it's just regular old designer paper. Hey, Heidi and Jean, thanks for hopping in. Glad you're here. Um, and then the backside sort of, I don't know, looks like little, I don't, I don't know, little circles plaids kind of I don't know I don't know how, quite how to describe it I'm not very good at patterns <laughs> so and then we've got one with kind of the classic cars and motorcycles on it Cajun craze background uh, Sahara sand definitely on that one um, it is really cool <laughs> it's a great pack of designer paper and then Sahara sand on the back of this and this one looks like that there's a term for that is it crosshatch I'm trying to remember the name of it like I said that patterns are just not my thing <laughs> so and then we've got this one which has got Sahara sand and early espresso, and it's got all sorts of ties and shoes and bow ties and mustaches and eyeglasses. So kind of, again, masculine themed images. Uh, the backside, again, has got your early espresso and it's kind of a plaid-ish pattern. And again, I know it looks shiny in here, but it actually isn't. So, all right. And then this one is cool if you have anyone who likes to barbecue. So how fun is that? So we've got all the little barbecue tools, the little pig, um, fire, it looks like barbecue sauce, the cow. So definitely if you have somebody who's into barbecuing, um, that would be a good one. And then I'm hoping that my video is not frozen. And hopefully it's just my computer acting crazy. Um, so then we've got um, Cajun Craze kind of striped on the backside of that one. All right. So that is the, um, he's the man suite. And again, it's got the pack of specialty designer paper and the stamp set and um, dies. And then we've got our, our coordinating accessories. So video is good. Okay, I'm glad. It must just be my computers acting crazy, which happens sometimes. All right, and I'm throwing things all over the floor already. All right, so I'm gonna grab this next suite, which is absolutely stunning. So we've got the Nature's Prints stamp set, which has got beautiful images in it. Love the mixed font sentiments. It is a good pack of designer paper, and you definitely want it, Heidi. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so we've got Nature's Prints designer or Nature's Prints stamp set, and it is bundled together with the Natural Prints dies, which. Um, I'll kind of leave these here for a second. And so we've got this one that cuts out your sentiments. Um, this one that will cut out the fern image. This one that cuts out this image. Um, this one will cut out the larger image here. This one will cut out the little image. And then there, again, there are some little accessory dies that go with it. So, ah, uh, see, I, I can't help myself, see? <laughs> and these are called the nature's natural prints dies. So again, these are bundled together. And I'm trying to remember, I should have looked in the catalog before I started, but I can't remember whether that um, embossing folder is actually part of the bundle or not. So hold on a second and I will look it up. Uh, Nature's Prints is on page 91. Nope, this is not part of the bundle. So this is a separate, um, the, uh, separate um, embossing folder, but it is called the Fern 3D embossing folder. And it is part of the suite of products that you can get um, the Nature's Prints, uh, all this together in a suite. So again, you can order this separately. You don't have to get it as part of a bundle, but it is really, really pretty. So again, I know it doesn't show up as well on here, but you can probably see it better on the printed uh, image, but it's a 3D embossing folder. So it's gonna be, give you a really good, pretty impression and I cannot wait to use it. So very, very pretty. There is also a pack of coordinating designer series paper that goes with it. 
And that, again, it's all in the suite. It's called the Sun Prince 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. The colors in it are Gray Granite, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, and Starry Sky. And I do love blues, so I'm very excited about this Designer Series Paper. So this is the first sheet of it, which again has got kind of all the shades of blue in it, and it is beautiful. On the back side, we've got the gray granite and kind of the fern type images. Um, then we've got another sheet of gray granite, which has got the beautiful fern images on it. And then the back side has got little kind of um, almost animal printy looking blue, but little, little tiny, tiny kind of polka dotty animal prints is what that looks like to me. This is beautiful. Again, all the shades of blue with some floral images on it. On the back side, we've got, it almost looks like, um, it's like scripty kind of, hopefully you can see it on there, but it's like really, really faint script and um, kind of a, I don't know, vintagey look with gray granite on it. Um, then this one's kind of cool. This one's just kind of like a splattery look. Again, all the shades of blue. And then we've got stripes in blue and white. And then there's this beautiful piece of paper which again, I, it's hard to get it all on screen in one swing, but I'll kind of move it up and down and twist it around a little bit. But again, this has got all the shades of blue and these beautiful, beautiful floral images in white on it. So pretty. Um, the backside looks just sort of like a, almost like a night sky to me. So it looks almost like clouds. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what it looks like to me. You do need all of the paper because it is amazing. <laughs> And then we've got the final um, piece of designer series paper that's got um, just your floral prints and again all the shades of blue and white. And then the back side has got the pretty gray granite, um, which again is a little more neutral. But gosh, this is a beautiful pack of paper. So yes, you definitely need it all. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, so that is all for the actual suite. There is another pack of designer series paper that coordinates with this um, suite of products. It's not included in the suite, um, but it coordinates with it. It is called the Pretty Prints Designer Series Paper. And again, it's 12 by 12. The colors are Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Evening Evergreen, Gorgeous Grape, Petal Pink, Rich Razzleberry, Shaded Spruce, Soft Sea Foam, Soft Succulent, and Sweet Sorbet. So it's kind of got a whole lot of everything. <laughs> so um, it has got, it's got some, again, just some really pretty kind of florally prints in it. it this will make beautiful backgrounds for cards. And then here is that amazing image that we just saw in the blue and white. But this is in the Evening Evergreen, Shades of Green. Probably a little Shaded Spruce in there as well, maybe up towards the top. And then this beautiful... Beautiful print again in the shades of green. And again, it, uh, the color probably is a little off on my camera. Hopefully it looks more green for you. It almost looks kind of black on my screen, but it's definitely evening evergreen. And then the back side has got kind of the splattery prints on it. This one, again, it's got your floral prints. This is the evening evergreen. Back side looks like kind of that um, kind of cloudy sky again in the shades of green. And then we have the same one here, again, in your shades of the Calypso Coral and kind of shades of oranges. Um, this one's probably the one that I think the, the Petal Pink shades are in. So again, it's all the same designs, just different colors. So I want to quickly run through all those so you can see them. Here's that really pretty sheet. And I love that we have multiple colors of this one. It's so, so pretty. Backside. And then here are the shades of purples. Again, the back side of kind of just the really neutrally almost a um, little bit, looks a little bit like clouds to me. Um, and this pa pattern, flip it over and there's that beautiful floral pattern again. And then we have this pretty floral. Flipping it over here, we got the splatters on the back side of this one. And then here we've got uh, the shades of this is probably shaded spruce, so I was probably wrong on the other one. So this again is is a little bit um, a little bit brighter Bermuda Bay shaded spruce ish type colors to me. So pretty. Again, all the same patterns. 
Um, it is beautiful paper, isn't it? <laughs> you waited to expedite until today? Yes, you will be happy. You're going to love it. <laughs> so have fun. Um, this is actually called Pretty Prints. This is the Pretty Prints Designer Series paper. The Sun Prints one is all the same papers, um, just in shades of blue, and there are a couple of additional ones. So I showed that just a second ago, uh, Leanne. So, so yep, yeah, lots and lots of pretty papers in that. All right, let me slide that off the table here so I don't hopefully knock it off. Um, next one, we've got the Cup of Tea product suite. So this is a cute little stamp set. Again, it's got little teacups in it, um, some good sentiments in it, smaller and larger ones, uh, some pretty florally images. Love that little lemon. So again, Cup of Tea photopolymer stamp set. And then we have some coordinating dies, which you know I do love the dies. Um, these are called teacup dies. And it looks like we've got the, the um, teacups that will cut out the images. Uh, let's see. I don't think this one coordinates. It looks like it's a little different than, than this. So I don't think they're going to die cut this one specifically. But you can stamp it, color it, and cut it out with the, the regular teacup die. So... They, oh man, the designer papers. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> so, all right. So then we've got our little lemon slices. Um, we've got one to cut out this image, one to cut out this image, to cut this image, to cut these little stamped images, cut the lemon, um, cut the little tea, uh, what is it, tea tags? The little, the little labels, I don't know, the hangy things on the tea bags. <laughs> hangy things on the tea bag. So very, very official I am in all the wording of everything. So, so this is the cup of tea um, stamp set bundle. So again, stamp set and dies. And then they have some coordinating designer series paper, and this is called Tea Bouquet. And it is six by six designer paper. The colors are crumb cake, crushed curry, fresh freesia, garden green, orchid oasis, parakeet party, petal pink, starry sky, sweet sorbet, and Tahitian tide. So all sorts of new in colors plus a few extras. So we've got, um, this is the print on the one side, so we've got some pretty flowers. Backside is gingham, which I do love. Um, so this one's got little teapots and flowers. Backside is polka dots, which I also love. <laughs> this one's got some cute little, these are like envelopes with um, little flowers peeking out of the top of them. The backside is a little more uh, kind of a neutrally, I don't know, almost plaid look to it. Then we've got some more little teapots on this one. On the backside is uh, just kind of got little, looks like almost little plus signs and kind of a splattery look or a vintage look. This has got some... I know it is. It's a great. Uh, there's so many pretty things. I couldn't help myself. I had to order like everything. <laughs> so, so this one's got some pretty florals in it. Uh, the back side has got a little more neutral, um, kind of the petal pink on the back of it. So, you like the back sides better? Some of them I do. I'm sort of yeah. I I agree. I tend to agree with you. A lot of times I do use the back sides more than the fronts. So um, this has got lots of pretty flowers on it, and again, just your stripes in um, the parakeet party. Some pretty florals on here and stripes on the back. And that's uh, uh, crushed curry. Then we've got little teacups all over this one and kind of a gingham-y, plaid -y, whatever you want to call that look on the back. Um, pretty florals on this one. I know it's bad, Jean. It's like I said, I'm not even gonna. It, yeah, it's bad. It's good. It's a good catalog, but yeah, it'll be hard on the checkbook. <laughs> so, and then I love the little lemons on this one. This is probably my favorite piece of paper in the in the pack. And then we got the back side, which has got um, uh, this is Orchid Oasis on the back. Oh no, Fresh Freesia. I'm sorry, wrong color. Fresh Freesia. Um, so we got little teapots on this one in your Fresh Freesia and Orchid Oasis. And then if, this one is the Orchid Oasis on the back, so I was way wrong in the color. And then this one, the final one's got little teacups and lots of floral images. And then the backside has got your sweet sorbet, which is some little, little tiny flowers all over it. So that is the Tea Bouquet 6x6 Designer Series paper. And you controlled yourself a little, then you are a better person than I, Karen. I had zero restraint. <laughs> so, all right. And I've forgotten the name of these. Hold on, let me grab the pack. This is the Tea Bouquet Cards and Envelopes. So in our current mini catalog, we have one that's similar to this with the um, Abstract Beauty Suite. 
Well, this one has got little cards and envelopes that coordinate. So we've got, they're already decorated. Um, the card fronts are already decorated for you. And then you can just add on your layers of whatever uh, cute things you want to put on it, little teacups and whatever. The designer series paper that I just showed you, all the colors coordinate with this. So you can mix and match things as you would like. So this is the uh, pretty or, uh, parakeet. Is it pretty parakeet? Parakeet Party. Oh, it's going to take me a minute to learn all these names. Then we've got Sweet Sorbet. So again, just a little, kind of a little light florally look on that one. Then we've got our Tahitian Tide. I know that it's beautiful. So the cards and envelopes are, uh, oh, you don't like the floral and the envelopes? Yeah, they probably would be a little more versatile. You could use them for, you know, all sorts of cards, but they are kind of pretty. I like them. <laughs> so we've got Tahitian Tide. And then we've got our Orchid uh, Oasis. So again, similar, similar designs to what you saw in the Designer Series paper pack. And then here's Starry Sky. And of course, for some reason, I did not pull the envelope out for that one. Um, but there it is. There's the coordinating envelope with that. And again, these are, I should have measured them. I think, I feel like they're four by five or four and a quarter by five. They may be standard issue um, card fronts. They do, yeah, I think they're standard issue like the four order, Four and a quarter by five and a half is what I would guess. They, you should be able to mail them with just one stamp, unless you do like I do and get a little overzealous on your embellishments. If you get it a little thicker, you might have to, <laughs> might have to go up a little on postage. Oh, well, there's the envelope. It was laying in the stack and I missed it. So uh, adding $200 to your order, and you should be, you should just order it all, Amory, then you won't be sad because you will be sad if you don't order the stuff. <laughs> So the next suite we've got has got the Happiness Abounds stamp set. So I'm going to hold this up for a second. It's pretty floral images that you can use for coloring if you'd like, or you can just use them, you know, stamp them and die cut them, whatever you want to do with it. And then some pretty sentiments. Love the uh, mixed fonts in it. Again, photopolymer stamp set. And it's got the coordinating dies called Blossoming Happiness Dies. And all the floral images that you see down here have a coordinating die with them. And then there are these cool edge dies. So this one cuts like little circles in a, you know, little circles, little dash circles. It's almost like a spiral notebook kind of thing. And this one cuts um, just little dash lines. So then we've got this, which is, uh, I don't know, a big, I don't know, it's almost wreath looking to me, but it's not. So this one looks like it will cut out background. So you can put it on a piece of paper, run it through your die cutting machine, and then it will cut those designs out of your paper. So um, I know there's, it's like I said, it's ah, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. So um, next up, I'm going to show you the designer series paper. This is called uh, Hues of Happiness 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. The colors are Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Pool Party. So all sorts of pretty colors in that. So again, it's 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper Pack. I don't know which way you can see it best. So I'll start with this. Beautiful roses. And actually... I'm guessing these look like they're pretty close in size. Uh, if I could get it twisted, there we go. So they have dies that will cut the the uh, some of the images in this paper. So yay, I always love that. So it's always a happy find when I've got, you know, when I happen to lay a die down on the piece of designer paper and it works perfectly. I'm guessing that some of these um, will cut out the greenery images and maybe maybe the rose I don't know I'll have to play with it a little bit more but definitely we'll cut out some of the um, designer series paper images so the spiral edge so yeah it's yes it's cute and you know I guess I didn't even notice that good catch on that so yeah that's what the little spiral edge um, hopefully you can see it on the the um, sample on the card front or on the catalog front so that's a little spiral edge so, all right, um, so then we've got, this one looks sort of like a painted, painted whatever, I don't know, painted canvas, I guess, um, in all those pretty shades of pink and yellow. And then we've got uh, the, the purpley's blue, purpley blues, purples and blues, I guess is what I should be saying. <laughs> so again, um, these will line up with some of the dyes. So some of these images you can cut out with the dyes if you would like to. And then on the back side of this one, we've got, again, it's a similar look, kind of a painted canvas with those same shades of purples and blues. And I've got this one upside down. 
Um, but this one's a real pretty kind of backgroundy type look. So lots of roses on this one. I don't see any dyes that immediately look like they're going to match up with these. So I don't think they will. But again, I'll have to play around with it a little bit more um, to let to know for sure on that one. So back side of this one is kind of goes from the darker blues um, into greens and then over to yellow. So again, that's kind of that painted canvas look. Then we've got pretty flowers on this one. Again, just kind of almost a rainbow of colors across it. You didn't order this bundle? See, now y'all just need to listen to me and just order it right away. Because there's, you know, you're always sad when you miss out and you're like, oh, <laughs> so you need it. Yes, I think you'll have to, Chris. All right, so back said this has got lots of little, um, pretty little flowers. Again, just sort of a rainbow of colors. This one's kind of cool. These are almost, I don't know, kind of almost daisy looking flowers to me. Um, but again, just sort of the rainbow of colors on them. And then the back side, again, rainbow painted. So that's kind of cool. And hey, Debbie, thanks for hopping on. Yes, just order it all. <laughs> uh, you did miss the guy bundle. That was one of the first things that I showed Laura. So if you want to go back and um, watch the replay in a couple minutes, you can definitely do that. So, all right. So again, just uh, almost a rainbow of colors, flowers in that one. Uh, got the DSP, you're gonna like it. It's pretty. So, all right, so again, rainbow colors. These are almost like little, they look like chicken feet to me, but they're little kind of plus signs almost. <laughs> chicken feet is probably not the right, right thing to say about them. And then there are these beautiful glossy dots. They're called Glossy Dots Assortment. Um, we had some glimmer dots that were similar to this. These don't have the, the glittery stuff in them, but they're very shiny and very pretty. And the colors I am looking at, I'm guessing that it is uh, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight. I would guess that's Melon Mambo. And then this is Gorgeous Grape. Again, those are the colors that um, I'm looking at on the designer paper. And I'm assuming, again, this is all part of the same suite, the Hues of Happiness suite. Um, but that's my, that's my guess. I could look up the colors, but you know, then it'd be more flipping through the catalog and messing around. So, all right, so that is the Hues of Happiness chicken feet paper, I see. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm giving you a little chuckle because you know, if we can't laugh, I'd be in trouble. Okay, so let me grab, we've got some bundles here. That's all I, we were able to pre-order for the sweets. There are more sweets in the catalog, but um, that was all we were able to pre-order. So I've got Wisteria Wishes, is, which is the next stamp set bundle. And I love this one. Love the images in it. Love the, the fonts in it. Um, some fun sentiments in it. Um, and then it's got a coordinating set of dies, which again, you know, I do love the dies. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad y'all are liking the chicken feet. I don't know why. That's what I think of every time I see that image. And I don't know, I guess I'm, I was raised on a farm. Can you tell? <laughs> Then we've got the Wisteria dies, and um, so again, dies that coordinate with this stamped image, this stamped image, um, the little Wisteria image, and yep, well, there's one for this little image, and um, then we've got just kind of some accessory dies, so that's a beautiful one. I can't wait to play with that. It cuts and embosses at the same time. This one is almost like a grapevine kind of look to it, so it's very pretty. A great, great die set, great stamp set. The next bundle up, we've got another masculine one. Well, I mean, this is definitely a woman one too, because not it's not only, but it definitely can be used for um, men as well, which I know if you're like me, um, it looks like corn stalks. Okay, <laughs> that, that's true too. I don't know, chicken feet is the first thing I think of because it's a little skinny and it's four pointed and anyway. <laughs> Off I go again. All right, so we've got Brood for You, uh, which again has got some fun uh, images in it. This is two-step stamping and it is photopolymer. So we've got these images can be stamped one on top of the other. And then we've got the foam on the top of it. So again, same thing with this one. And then there's a the little um, jug and then we've got the little glass. So again, some good ones. And then, as always, yay. Um, oh, the wisteria looks like corn stalks. Okay, that makes more sense because I'm like corn stalks. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> it does kind of. All right, sorry. I'm like totally lost and stuck on chicken feet. So, <laughs> so all right, so we've got the brood dies that coordinate with it. These are bundled together. Um, so again, these cut out the stamped images. So we've got all of them that cut out the outlined images. And then you can also, these are um, embossing dies that will go inside. So if you wanted to um, cut out just, the, just an embossed image rather than stamping and all that, um, you can definitely do that with this set of dies. And again, this one is actually will emboss. It looks like it'll emboss that. So 
or maybe even cut it. I'm not sure. Again, I'll have to play around a little bit more with this. Um, so that I think is hops. Again, I'm not really a big beer person, so I don't know for sure. Uh, and this will cut out the foam. This is little leaves. So anyway, a good one. Again, love that we've got some, some options for uh, men cards because I know, again, if you're like me, I kind of struggle with that because we have a lot of beautiful flowers, but sometimes not as many things as we need for, for men. So all right, so this is the Sending Smiles photopolymer stamp set, which is really pretty. Again, I love that it's got all sorts of coordinated sentiments. So we have sending, and then it's got smiles across the miles, all the good luck your way, sunshine to brighten your day, love and big hugs, birthday wishes, a note of thanks, a card to say hello, comfort and strength. So all sorts of mix and match sentiments that you can use in here. And then we've got the pretty floral images. So... I know the fizzy texture is really cool, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, so again, this is one of those stamp sets that has got the layering sent or die sets. It's got the layering sentiments on it. It is called the sending dies. So you can stamp and cut it out with the outline. You can layer um, different coordinating cardstocks together. I love that it's got these little dies to cut out some of these sentiments to layer things up. And then we've got the dies that coordinate with all the stamped images as well. And then there are a couple little flowers here too that are just accessory pieces. So again, a beautiful stamp and die set. Um, all right. Which one's your favorite so far? Is it the Sending Smiles or the, the one with the beer and stuff in it? <laughs> so, sorry, because I know the comments come in a little bit late. Oh, and I already showed you that one. What am I doing? Uh, one more bundle here. With, well, actually, I've got a couple more bundles, but I have to actually get up out of my chair to reach them. So this is the Botanical Layers bundle. This is a different kind of bundle that um, Stampin' Up! has offered during celebration some similar options like this, but this is the first time I think I've seen it in a catalog where they've bundled a stamp set in paper. So this is botanical layers. Again, some pretty botanical images, um, some pretty sentiments. And then they've um, coordinated and bundled it together with the lovely layers, three and three quarters by five inch vellum. Um, so again, you can get them separately, but you can also get them bundled together since they kind of coordinate. So, oh, sending smiles. Yeah, that is a good one. It's beautiful. And they, we, um, I was at the On Tour event over the weekend, and they created some beautiful samples. So if you haven't been to the On Tour event and you're a demonstrator, um, look out because it's good. <laughs> they, they had some really beautiful samples that they made with it. Um, so this has actually got five different sheets of vellum. Oop, that one I've got upside down and the circle. So it's five different patterns of vellum, and then there are 40 pages of just the, the um, little individual, uh, just plain vellum sheets inside the pack. So something that's a little different, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think there were four each of the printed ones, and then 40 of the, the plain white ones. So again, coordinated together as a bundle. Um, it, yeah, it's the catalog, definitely. You can hardly see the vellum, and they're so teeny tiny. So, um, but yeah, the pack of vellum is very, very pretty. So hold on one second. I got to get up and grab the next set of bundles because uh, they're out of my reach, and I had too much stuff. I know, you can't imagine. Because I so rarely buy too much stuff, right? <laughs> So, all right, the next one that we have here is the Bottled Happiness Stamp Set Bundle. So this is a really cute bundle, and some of you were lucky enough to get this one um, in your uh, packet with your on-tour stuff. So, um, so this is a, um, you are going to have to get a second job, because, yeah, it's, like I said, it was a really expensive day on Friday. <laughs> So um, we've got the Bottled Happiness Stamp Set Bundle. So it's bundled with a punch. Um, so again, it's got some fun sentiments in it. Uh, I love that image and I like it sticking in the little bottle. So definitely this is going to be a fun one to play with. And then we've got the Bottle Punch, which I know sometimes it's easier to see it turned upside down with all of the glare on it. And then what's also really cool about this is they have the, and the is that the tiniest writing? I'm definitely getting old. It is called Vintage Bottle Shaker Domes, and there are 10 of them in a pack. And it's the same thing as, as the shaker domes that we've had recently, where it's got sticky on the front and on the back, so it makes it really easy to make shaker cards with these. Um, there are some, I think they're effervescent something or another's, but little tiny, um, little tiny round 
dots that will go in here um, and will look really cute inside the bottle. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get them just yet, so hopefully they'll be available soon. It sounded like they would be, but um, we couldn't get them with our first pre-orders. So we had this, and it actually coordinates perfectly with the punched shape, so everything is kind of all mix and match here together. So time to open up the next cargo pallet, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to come to my house come on over <laughs> so all right so that is the uh stamp set bundle the uh bottled happiness and then we have another stamp set and punch bundle called sweet songbirds and again it's sweet it's got the cute little birds in it love the little branch that we can um, stamp here uh welcome congratulations you've got something to celebrate so happy you're here it's your special day, a little bird told me, um, and a little note of thanks. So it's got cute little bird images, nest, um, love the little bird feet. So there we are. It's not chicken feet, it's bird feet in this one, but close enough. And we've got little bird feet that match that one, the musical notes. So too cute. Um, and then we've got the coordinating punch that goes with it. So this punches out the this bird. And then there's a little, you can punch out the wing and a beak. And I think this is a smaller wing, maybe for this bird you can punch out. So um, definitely a cute little set, a, a sweet little punch and uh, called Sweet Songbirds. So a good one too. Hey, Linda. Um, oh yeah, it's a good, good, good catalog. So definitely take a look back, um, Deb, when I get done. We're actually kind of getting, I mean, I've got a few things left to show you, but we're getting down there a little bit. So, all right. So I've got a few, uh, let me get the host stamp sets out here. It's got a few host stamp sets, so these are some good ones in the new catalog. This is called Sit, Stay, Relax. Um, just sitting here thinking of you, you feel like home to me, relish the day, wish you were here, missing you, hello friend. Love the little critters um, on the, the chairs in here, so this one's going to be a cute one and fun to play with. Again, it's called Sit, Stay, Relax, and it is a host stamp set. So it's one of those that, um, glad that you're liking the birds too, Laura, They're, it's really cute. <laughs> so um, this is one of the host stamp sets, so again, you would need to place an order of $150 or greater in order to earn this one as an option for for um, one of your, some of your Stampin' Rewards. Um, next host stamp set is called Garden Grandeur, and it's a two-step stamping, and again, it's photopolymer, which is really nice for that. So we've got the, the outline images and then the, the layering images that stamp over the top of them. Um, so this one will be a beautiful one to create backgrounds with, or I don't know, just all sorts of pretty things. So again, this is a host exclusive. And then there's another host exclusive stamp set, and there's actually one more host exclusive item that I'll be showing you in a second. Um, but this one is called Begin With a Dream, and it says kindness changes the world one heart at a time. Every great dream begins with a dreamer, and then we've got our little people on here, and you make a difference, and then the world image, and then the heart. So this is a real cute um, stamp set as well. Again, it's a host exclusive. And then a couple of additional stamp sets that are in the catalog. We've got the Fresh Cut Flowers. Uh, which is, again, just a pretty pretty floral set. Um, what, it'll be a good one for you to practice in your coloring and all that sort of thing. Um, then we've got limited edition, which this one has got the copyright stamping up. So if you create uh, projects and sell them, this is one of those stamp sets that you can stamp on the back. Um, so we've got handcrafted from the heart, one of a kind, a paper hug for me, limited edition, hand stamped just for you, and made with love, and then just your Stampin' Up! logo. So this is the Angel Policy stamp set. Um, yeah, the Sit Stay one is really cute. That's probably my favorite one of the host ones. <laughs> so... All right, we've got photo. This is a photopolymer one called Framed Occasions, and again, these are. This got some layering images in it, um, and I believe I should have again should have looked at it, but I believe this one coordinates with the um, Abstract Beauty dies. So it could be, it's got the hexagon and the circle in it, and I'm almost positive that those images uh, coordinate with the the um, that die set. So, all right, so we got that one. And then this one is really cool too. So this one is called Wild and Sweet. And it's got kind of that, um, I don't know, Stampin' Up! had some stamp sets like this kind of a while ago that had the, the really pretty, um, I don't know, I just, I'm trying to remember the word for it, but drawn images, I guess, um, that you can basically just stamp and put it on a card front. You can stamp and add a little bit of color. Uh, but there's a little raccoon, the koala, and then the panda bear. So definitely a cute one. And then we've got a couple of standalone die sets here. As I reach, and try not to 
bang into the camera. Uh, so this one is called Dots and Spots, and it is big enough for a background. And again, it'll just cut little dots and spots. <laughs> so just we'll cut the, the background, you know, of a piece of paper if you want to have a little peek through. So pretty basic die set there. And then this one, I'm just like, oh, so I love this. You all know me and the stitched everything dies. Yay, we finally have some stitched squares and circles and banners. This is called Stylish Shapes Dies, and I know that I will be using this one a ton, so I love, love, love this. So I know I did kind of go a little crazy, Linda. I ordered maybe one of everything that I could. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, they just fall into my shopping basket. So, all right, so we've got this set of dies, which again called Stylish Shapes, and I love them. Um, can't wait to start playing with those. Then we've got a couple more packs of Designer Series paper, and that is all that we were able to pre order. Not all, because it's a huge pile of stuff, but <laughs> so, all right, this is called Perfectly Penciled, and it is 12 by 12 Designer Series paper, and it's obviously black and white, and it's beautiful. Um, so, again, these just look like pencil drawings to me. So pretty flowers on this side. I love this one. It's kind of a background. Uh, you know, beautiful. This one, you could basically just cut it up, put sentiments on it, and you'd be done. Um, here's one that's got some other pretty flowers on it. Again, these are beautiful. Just, I don't know. I wish I could draw like this. I cannot. <laughs> so there definitely are tons of pretty things, Melanie. It's a great, great catalog. So, and Bree, do you know how many times I have asked for just a buy it all button and I would push it every every single time. <laughs> so um, this one's kind of a plaid look to it. Um, some pretty flowers, uh, kind of a pencil-y drawn stripes. Again, more pretty flowers, polka dots on the back, some pretty leaves, and then flowers. And I love this paper because you can leave it plain as black and white, but if you want to add a little color, this is a good one. You can color with blends, you can color with um, colored pencils, whatever. So whatever your preferred coloring thing is, you can definitely do that. Or like I said, I love it as black and white. So, all right, so we've got that one. That is called, again, the Perfectly Penciled Designer Series Paper. And then we've got a specialty paper. This is called Brush Stroke Specialty Paper, and it is in Blushing Bride, Night of Navy, and Soft Succulent. And hopefully you can see um, it's kind of a shimmery paper. I don't know that you'd be able to stamp on it with regular inks, but I would bet you'd be able to with stays on if you wanted to stamp on it. But I think this will make some really pretty backgrounds. Um, yes, and I do agree, Renice we need to have just an easy button to push. <laughs> um, so there are three sheets of paper in this one. So again, we got Soft Succulent and then the Blushing Bride. And again, I know it's, hopefully you can see the, the little bit of shimmer in this. And then here's Night of Navy. And again, I don't know the color on it is probably a little off, but it's definitely in your hand. You'll, you can see that it, it is the actual colors, but I know sometimes depending on your screen and my phone, um, it may or may not look that color. And then the last thing that I have to show you, this is another one of the host exclusive items. Let me flip it over on the back here. It is called Design a Daydream 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. The colors are Blackberry Bliss, Daffodil Delight, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. Um, it is a huge pack of paper. It's 48 sheets, so there are four sheets of each of these designs in there. Um, and again, it's 12 by 12, so a huge, huge pack of paper. And this is one of the host exclusive items. So this is one that you can earn and um, purchase with your Stampin' Rewards. So this is the, the uh, back side of this one. And then we've got, I love that. Love the birds on that one. So very pretty. And to me, that's pool party when I look at it. Um, so this one's got some pretty greenery images on it. Backside has got your stripes. This one has got, to me those are like leaves or greenery, but they're in all different colors. So kind of a rainbow shade of colors. Backside's a little more neutral. Um, some pretty floral images. And the backside's got some pretty stripes on it. And then we've got, for a minute, I thought these were footballs. <laughs> I don't know why I saw the, well, look like laces, and I don't know why I thought they were footballs, but they are, in fact, kites, so don't be confused. They are not footballs. <laughs> so, um, and then stripes on the back. 
and um, this is one of those pretty images that's like almost mosaic tile kind of look to it. And then the back side. <laughs> I, don't, I can't even believe I thought they were footballs. I'm like, footballs, that seems like an odd thing to have in yellow and in this pack of paper. And in fact, it is. <laughs> so got some polka dots here in green. Um, and these look like the, what are those little pinwheel kind of look to it? Again, I know it's not because it's usually a four thing, but um, these look like little pinwheels to me. And then these cute little bikes. I love that. Love that. Backside has got some green sort of geometric shapes. Some pretty bold stripes. And then we've got shades of purple on the back. These are pretty purple flowers. And then the back side, ooh, I love that. Um, just kind of, I don't know, this usually is the pattern that I'd, <laughs> I'm drawn to in, in all the packs of paper, just a little more neutral. And then we've got the fun little circles. And the back side has got, you know, again, some little geometric shapes on it. And then we've got the pretty flowers, perfect for spring and summer. And then the back side has got your um, kind of plaid green look to it. So that's the haul. So yay, um, if you are not currently a demonstrator, but you love everything that you see here and you wanna be able to order a little early, um, join. <laughs> I'd, I'd be happy to chat with you more about it. Uh, join as a demonstrator and you can actually add these products to your starter kit. So it's an awesome deal. Um, if you're interested in joining, you get to pick $125 worth of merchandise, Stampin' Up! merchandise. You pay $99 and it ships for free. You're gonna get a box of the new catalogs, which is awesome. Um, and then you get a few business items and again, kit ships for free. And then once you get your starter kit, well, actually, once you join, you can then purchase, uh, all of your demonstrator orders. After that, you get a 20% minimum discount on everything. So if you love it all, it's definitely worth joining right now. And, um, yes, <laughs> it's, it's a great catalog. So beautiful things in it. And um, for those of you that are waiting on your pre-orders, I hope they all arrive soon because it's fantastic. I was shocked when my, my UPS guy showed up so early today because normally on pre-order day when I'm waiting and waiting, it's like five o'clock in the afternoon and he finally shows up. But he was here bright and early, so I was happy to see him. Um, so again, if you're interested in joining or have questions about joining, uh, reach out to me. I'd be happy to chat with you. Uh, my email is amy at stampwithamyk.com. Um, my blog is stampwithamyk.com. I try to keep it simple. So stop, stop by. Um, again be happy to chat with you more about it uh, so thanks again for joining let me know if you have questions and um, have a fantastic rest of your monday